In this video, we're going to show you how to get started with your new Windows Phone. The first thing to do is insert your new SIM card. Remove the back cover of your phone by gently pushing your thumb in the center, while carefully pulling back the top edge. Once removed, insert your SIM card into the SIM card slot. If you also have a micro SD memory card, insert it now into the micro SD slot as shown. After both cards have been inserted, line up the battery contacts and push the battery into place. Now press the bottom corner of the back cover against the bottom corner of your phone and gently press around the sides until it clicks into place. Plug the charger into a wall outlet and connect the charger to your phone. If the battery is completely discharged, it may need to charge for up to 20 minutes before you can use your phone. Once charged, power up your phone by pressing and holding the power switch for about 5 seconds. Tap the Get Started button. Now select your preferred language and tap Next and accept the Windows Phone terms of use. We suggest using the recommended settings. You can always adjust or customize them later if you wish. Now choose your country and time zone and tap Next. If you already have a Hotmail, Outlook.com or Windows Live account, tap the Sign In button. Enter your email address and your password and tap the Sign In button. If you don't already have a Microsoft account, choose the Create One option instead. Enter a new email address. Tap Next. If it's not available, you'll be prompted to choose another. Enter a password for your new account and then enter it a second time for confirmation. Tap Next. Now enter your date of birth. You may also enter the optional postcode information if you wish. Press the Next button and wait for the registration process to complete. You'll now see a screen prompting you to back up your stuff. As this is a new phone, there's nothing to back up yet, so you can choose the Not Now option. Tap Next to go to the Warranty Setup screen, and then tap the Accept button. If you inserted a new micro SD card during setup, you may now be prompted to set it as the default storage location. We recommend you say yes. This will make it easier to back up and share your photos, videos, and files. This can also be done manually at any time. Simply swipe the main screen to the left, scroll to the Settings option, and tap to select it. On the System Settings screen, scroll to the Phone Storage option and tap to select it. Now tap on the Storage Option boxes and change them both to SD card. You can now tap the Windows button to go back to your home screen. To help economize on usage of your data plan, we recommend connecting your phone to a local Wi-Fi network whenever possible. To do this, swipe the home screen to the left. Scroll to the Settings option and tap to select it. From the System Settings menu, select Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi is turned off, you can activate it by swiping the Wi-Fi switch to the On position. Your phone will now search for local networks. Choose your network and enter your network password. Tap Done and your phone should now connect and display the Wi-Fi connected indicator at the top of your screen. In addition to making phone calls, your new Windows phone provides lots of other ways to communicate. SMS messages are a cost-effective way to send short text communications to other phone users. Email is ideal for when you wish to send longer messages or file attachments to one or more people. You can also download social network apps from the store and communicate with friends and colleagues on Facebook or Twitter. Installing Skype from the store allows you to make free internet voice calls to other Skype users and low-cost calls to other mobile or landline telephones. You can also use it to send instant messages. For more elaborate communications, Microsoft Link allows you to talk to your colleagues and share files and applications in real time. You can use it for one-to-one -one communications, 
or for full-on conference calls and team meetings. Link is you, your team, and your work connected. Your data plan or Wi-Fi connection allows you to access the internet directly from your phone. Once connected, it's easy to search and research topics for lessons and tutorials. Or access peer content and resources by logging into the PIL network through your phone's browser. And receive support directly on your phone from educators around the world. Back up and store your lessons, files and other documents in the cloud with SkyDrive. If you wish, you can also share your SkyDrive to make your resources easily available to anyone, anywhere, at any time. Using your Microsoft account, you can log into the litforlife.net website, which provides access to the Checkoff tool, allowing you to create dynamic ebooks designed to help learners develop their literacy skills. Install the free Kindle app from the store, then download and read thousands of free ebooks. The Windows Store gives you access to thousands of education-related apps, many of which are free to download and install. If you come across an image or web page of interest, you can easily capture and store it as an image for future use. Simply press the Power button and Windows button at the same time, and a snapshot of the screen will instantly be captured and stored to your phone. To locate the saved image, tap the Photos tile, and then tap Albums. You should see an album titled Screenshots. All your captured images are stored here. Your Windows Phone also allows you to capture and create new content wherever you are. The built-in camera lets you easily take photos anywhere, anytime. Microsoft Office 365 for Education gives academic institutions a familiar Microsoft Office desktop suite with online versions of next-generation communications and collaboration services. Work on new or existing Office documents such as Word docs, PowerPoint presentations, Excel spreadsheets or OneNote files. Any photos, videos or documents you've stored on your micro SD card can easily be shared with a larger audience by popping the micro SD card into a Pico projector for display in a classroom for example. Your Windows Phone is a powerful communications and media creation device that facilitates classroom and one-to-one -one learning. Students and educators can use Windows Phone to keep in touch, look up information for a class, and use apps for anytime, anywhere learning.